there is concern about militia activity ramping up over the next couple of weeks. That's according to a recent report that shows swing states like North Carolina are at a moderate risk during the election and post-election period. Matthew Grant explains what that means. Why do you guys all have Hawaiian shirts on? This is Adam Fox, one of the suspected terrorists accused of plotting to overthrow the government and kidnap Michigan's governor. He's also reportedly an advocate of well-regulated militias. We see extremist groups growing um, every day because of the social and political unrest that we're seeing around the country. Now, a new report finds North Carolina is at a moderate risk for increased militia activity following the election. The study, released by Militia Watch and the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, tracked more than 80 militia groups across the U.S., the majority consisting of far-right armed extremists. The states with the highest risk for post-election militia activity, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Oregon. In North Carolina, the report says neo-Confederate and paramilitary organizations have been active in Confederate monument counter-protests. Stand back and stand by. The report singles out the Proud Boys, noting the group has been active in protests around the state since the summer. Some experts say many militia groups don't seek out violence, but rather view themselves as defenders against perceived threats to liberty and freedom. They're law-abiding citizens, many of whom kind of view this as a hobby, but also do think it is their personal responsibility to be prepared to defend themselves, their families, their communities. According to the study, most militia activity ahead of the election is a reaction Black to the Black Lives Matter movement and public health restrictions around the coronavirus. Matt Grant, News Nation.